1935, Armstrong's wife, Lucy May Camp Armstrong, donated the mansion to the city of Savannah to be used as Armstrong Junior College, a place that, like many Savannians, Mr. Kessler has memories of during his college years. This is an important building to so many people here, particularly those that did graduate from Armstrong. And actually, I'm a, I was a Georgia Tech graduate, but during the summer, I came here in uh, 1968, it was, I think it was, and took two courses, one on world history and one other course. And now, after many different owners, the Armstrong House will go back to serving its original purpose. I'm going to live here. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to live here. Uh, and so we bring it back as a home at home. To make this back into a home, he yeah, enlisted the services of a man with an interior design portfolio that spans the globe. Designer Chuck Chuning says this job will truly be unique. Here we have an advantage because Mr. Kessler has an extensive collection of art and antiques. And one advantage we have are the original watercolors of the interiors that the architect Waleen produced when he did the house. A nod to Waleen will be seen all over the home once the final project is complete. Taking the historic and the old and marrying that with modern life and, and living and making the house livable today. So Teal says that marriage will pay respects to the old and the new. Really, we're looking to, to incorporate the best of what's possible today, 100 years later, with what was the very best when it was built in 1919 which ultimately will preserve the home for generations to come. I think everyone has some theme to their life or some goal. I, I want to leave everything better than I found it. If all goes to plan on January 1st, 2019, these gates will open for a grand party to celebrate a new era for the Armstrong House. Reporting in Savannah, Cyria Sandlin, WTOC News. Good? Hit my mark. Mm, leave.